Fuel cells are a clean source of energy, usually mentioned in terms of hydrogen power cars, but the renewable energy source can also be used to power homes. For a look at the world's largest fuel cell power plant, CCTV's Eugene Jung gives us this report from South Korea. Just an hour's drive south of Seoul lies Gyeonggi Green Energy, the world's largest fuel cell power plant producing 440 million kilowatt hours of electricity every year. A 2.8 megawatt fuel cell takes up the space of around one basketball court each. And in this energy park, there's 21 of them, enough to generate electricity for 135,000 households, all in Hwasong City. Fuel cells produce electricity through the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen. Nothing gets burned, which means only steam comes out of the chimneys, making the plant ideal for locations closer to densely populated cities. And unlike other renewable energy sources, they can run 24-7, 365 days a year, unaffected by the weather. POSCO Energy, South Korea's largest private energy producer, partially owns and operates the energy park. The companies invested significant resources into developing the technology. And later this year, it will become the first South Korean company to fully localize the manufacturing process of fuel cells, a project that is worth 86.3 million U.S. dollars. The global market size of the fuel cell is from 5 billion to 15 billion U.S. dollars per year. Um, I think maybe Korea is the only country who is uh, uh, intensively support uh, fuel cell technology. Uh, once fuel cell uh, power plants and fuel cell technology is, gets more familiarized uh, throughout this country, uh, we uh, foresee that uh, this uh, uh, technology can be, can be uh, evaluated in a different level. Experts agree that fuel cells can be an eco-friendly alternative. So far, natural gas has been used as a fuel to generate electricity, but it's also possible to use biogas from waste to run fuel cell plants. So this is a great solution to solve two challenges, energy and environmental protection. By the year 2035, South Korea hopes to produce 11 percent of its power using new and renewable energy sources. And experts hope fuel cells could play a pivotal role in meeting that target. Eugene Jung for CCTV Seoul.